you guys. Hi. Hey. So I have the most perfect idea. How about we go on a road trip? <laughs> <laughs> we have jobs. And lives. It's not like we can just leave town all of a sudden. Well, I know that, but I'm just so tired of work. It's like I forgot how to laugh. Fuck. Look, I get it, but I have a husband and I have kids. I can't just pick up and leave just like, like that, like it's nothing. But you're right, I do need a break. Don't be such a pussy, Jill. You're not getting any younger and your life isn't over just because you're a mom. There's got to be some place you've been dying to go to. Fuck you, Jesse. But you're right, you're right. I do, I need to, I need to stop all this crying and just, you know, get wild. I'm down, I'm down to get wild. Hey. Uh, hey. What'd you guys think? Perfect, road trip. Woo! We can explore like hella places. And who knows, we might even encounter the supernatural on the way. <laughs> you guys are crazy, but I'm down. Okay, <laughs> I like you're crazy. But I'm not some kind of weird ghost whisperer, so I'm not gonna be all driving at night. Plus, mama needs a beauty sleep. You two are obviously too ugly for that. <laughs> You guys, you guys see that? Look, look, the car's broken down over there. Hold on, hold on. We should stop. We should help them. You know? I mean, they look harmless, right? Alright. I'm, I'm gonna pull over. And let's just hope it's not some stranger danger. Stranger danger, stranger yeah. danger. Sure. We'll lend them a hand. I'm sure they'll appreciate the help. Yeah. And if not, we'll just be on our way. Cool, let's go. Hey there guys, is there anything we can help you with? Yes, actually uh, our tire just popped in. We've never changed a tire before, so we don't know what to do. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know much about tires either, but the boys can probably help you. I know how to turn one on, that's about it. Um, we got a jack right here. Great, my name's Carlos, this is Steve. Yeah. Oh yeah, and these are, uh, that's Mike, and this is Jesse over here. Thank you guys. How about we treat you to dinner to show you guys our gratitude? Okay. Okay, sounds great. Just follow me to our place. It's going to be an amazing time. Are we sure about this? This is like a haunted house. It's fucking scary. Don't be so damn rude. Let's just go in, hang out a bit, and then leave. Hello. Come right in. So glad to see you guys. Oh, could you do me a favor real quick? Could you take out the garbage? Oh, sure thing. I'll be right back. Oh my god, it's a dead body. Mike, what the fuck are you doing out here? When the fuck did you even come out here? I didn't even see you leave. I just got bored, so I was looking around the house, but I found way too much. The terrible things are happening in this house. What? You're starting to scare me and you know I don't scare easy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, if we go now, they might be armed. We don't know if they're armed. So, just sit quietly and peacefully. And so, the, you know, the smarter one of the Edward boys, he is uh, Ed with two Ds, they call him Double D. He is the one who's normally masterminding these uh, plots. You know, they're always cool. for job breakers. Oh, wow. Always okay. for job breakers. And then sometimes there's a girl in the room. Let me just yes. Oh, sorry, bye. Um, Carlos, I'm so sorry, but I need to refill my inhaler. 
And I left it at home, so I'm gonna go to the pharmacy and get it. Have a great day. I'll just come with you guys and show you where the pharmacy is. As long as you, you know, come back for dinner, it'll be all right. Okay. Yeah. Here we go, buckle up tie guys. Nine one one, hello. Yes, we just witnessed a body. We're at the downtown box parking garage. Hurry up! Oh Please God. rush over as soon as possible. It's a dead body. I'm a cop. Do you guys need some assistance? Yes, officer. We got the address that I gave you, right? At that address, there are two guys, Stephen Carlos. They have dead bodies in their yard. Um, we we barely escaped dead with bodies. our lives. You don't seem to care. No one's lived at that address for over 20 years. What? Are you guys seeing this right now? 20 years? You've got to be kidding me. I'm freaked. That looks like right now. Come on, let's just go. Yeah, I, I don't even care anymore, you know? I just want to go home with my kid. What, what? Well, there are dead bodies there. You have the address. Your job. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Wow, I can totally take that. You know that? Why would you take the glove out? <laughs> Why would you put the glove inside the hat? Because it was holding it. Hello? Yeah, you look like the biggest Lipitron. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest, blackest Lipitron. I can't, like, literally say any riddles, so I can't be the Riddler anymore. 